Lots of times, we physicians, we see patients with these harmless symptoms, but they're just difficult to explain. In neurology, we call these things the dizzies, the tingles, and the gurgles. And as much as we know these things are harmless, people get a little cranky because we can't give them a specific diagnosis. I mean, after all, when a patient comes to see a doctor, they expect the doctor to tell them what's wrong. My colleague, Dr. Lou Edelson, he has some good advice on handling this situation. He uses what he calls a strategy, my wife had that too. So here's how it works. Now, this is the standard professional communication strategy. A lot of us do it this way. Well, Mavis, it looks like you got the Hertz-like hell syndrome. We don't know the pathophysiological cause, but according to the Mayo Clinic, 98% of people will make a full recovery. Now, here is the Dr. Lou Edelson, my wife had that too strategy. Well, Mavis, looks like you got the Hertz-like hell syndrome. You know, we don't know what causes that pesky thing, but a while ago, my wife had the same darn business. She's doing fine now. So, in which of these scenarios will Mavis connect with the message? In which of these scenarios will Mavis connect with the doctor who gave the message? I mean, this is a rhetorical question, but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, pretty soon, Dr. Edelson's patients are going to get a little suspicious. I mean, after all, one woman can only have so many afflictions. Well, over time, Dr. Edelson's patients have learned that Grandma Bertha, Uncle Irving, Cousin Seymour, they have all had some pretty weird medical stuff. You know, I've been a Kaiser physician for 38 years, and I've learned a lot of lessons from my colleagues. This is one of them. It's the power of the personal. The power of the personal. And almost every time, it will trump the technical.